everyone loves steaks and I mean everyone and if you've been watching my channel for a while you know I love to experiment I mean some of my experiments just turn out awesome just like you see it right here dry aging a piece of meat like this is just something you do not see every day but at the same time other experiments are just insane never put piptobismo on your steak that is the worst thing you can do but after my peanut butter experiment one of the most requested comments was to dry age in Nutella and let me tell you something there is no way that I'm gonna let you down this is the Nutella dry aging experiment so let's do it This is the biggest Nutella container I could find. It was made for the food service. And to be honest with you, opening it up, it's just extremely satisfying. I mean, when you take a huge monster spoon out of it like this, come on. If that does not put a smile on your face, man, I don't know what will. To be fair, this is every child's dream. Imagine your mom giving you a monster spoon like this. Oof, I don't know if that will be a good mom or a bad mom. But I'll tell you one thing, you will make your belly happy. But now that I have all of my Nutella needed for this experiment, now let's jump into the meat. This is a four bone standing rib roast. Now last time we dry aged with peanut butter the results were actually surprising and if you have not seen that video make sure you check it out later on. But in order to have a consistent test what I'm going to be doing is splitting this one in half. Then I'm going to be saving one part of it as a comparison and the other one of course we're going to be using for the Nutella. And once I slice that in half take a look at this. That is a beautiful piece of meat and it is going to be perfect for our experiment. So this half right here will actually be stored. That way we'll see how much different it will be from a fresh steak. And the first thing I need to do is to lay down some parchment paper because things are about to get messy. I started with a nice layer of Nutella first. This ensures me that the bottom is completely covered with Nutella. And as I'm doing this I can tell you one thing. The smell of Nutella is just phenomenal. Once I was done the next thing to do is to place the meat right on top and start complete covering it with Nutella. And I mean a lot of Nutella. And to my surprise this thing is really thick. You would have thought that it was spread nice and easily but no 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 this thing is thick so after working it around and trying to do my best around the edges because the last thing you want is to have uncovered pieces of meat that will basically ruin the whole experiment so I made sure not to be cheap and use all of it and if you ever want to upset your children is to do this in front of them to tell them that they cannot have not even a little bit is heartbreaking but honestly at the same time they were laughing at me as much as they could because they were telling me, Daddy, that is ridiculous. And to be clear, I 100% agree with them. But once I was done with the spreading, this is what it looks like. That, friends, is something you do not see every day. It is a Nutella meat cake. And it smells fantastic. But now that I have it ready, all there's left to do is to let it dry age in my regular refrigerator for a total of 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out of my refrigerator, laid it on my cutting board, and this is what it looks like. If you take a quick glance at it, it doesn't look like anything changed. But take a look at this. The juices of the meat is actually coming through the Nutella. And you can even see a little bit of blood on the bottom. After every single dry age I have ever done, this has never happened. So now it got me worried. See all this condensation on the top? What in the world is that? There's only one way to find out what happened, and that is to open it up. Whoa. What are these white spots? Spots. And what's happening to the meat in the center? It almost looks like jello. As I take a closer look to the white spots, it looks like mold. That is a little bit concerning. I mean, I had mold before in previous dry aging experiments, but they were not like this. This one is getting me a little bit worried. But like I always say, you always should listen to your nose. If it smells bad, throw it away. And as I took a first sniff at it, guess what? It smells like Nutella. This smell is so powerful that it's overpowering everything. Thing. Now I don't even know what to do. So after doing my best and trying to remove as much as possible, working around the edges and making sure that everything is out, of course I found even more mold, but once I was done with the cleaning, this is what it looks like. This, my friends, is a Nutella dry age rib roast for 35 days. And as you can see, the mold is insane. But after most of the Nutella was removed, I finally took another sniff at it. And it still smells just like Nutella. And it doesn't matter how much I try, there's always a little bit left. So the next thing to do is to remove all of the mold and the pellicles. So I grabbed my sharpest knife and started to remove it. And as I took my first slice, 
wow, that actually looks good. So now there's a little bit of hope. I mean, as soon as I took out that nasty stuff, it reveals a beautiful piece of meat underneath. I know you might think I'm crazy, but hey, it looks promising. Because there's so much mold between the bones, I decided to remove them. It's not worth keeping them. Because even though I'm losing a little bit of meat, this has to go. And for the moment of truth, as I took out the first big slice, check this out. The meat is extremely tender. It is almost if I tenderize it with a blade. Wow, I did not expect that. As I continued to trim the rest of it, I was left with two beautiful Nutella dry-aged steaks. Now that is definitely something I can eat. Because if you just saw this right now, you would never be able to tell what they went through. But honestly, as I picked them up on my hand, look at this. It's literally disintegrating. It feels a little bit too tender, almost kind of like mushy. And as I bring it closer to the camera, you can see that everything is splitting apart. It almost looks like it was marinated in pineapple or something. And if I do not hold it with care it will completely disintegrate in my hand. So to make sure that will not happen I decided to tressen it with butcher's twine. That will make sure that by the end of the cooking process we'll still have a steak left. Now to have a fair comparison I did the same exact thing with the fresh steak and I also tressen it with butcher's twine. And when you take a look at both of them side by side you can see how much lost we actually had. We have the Nutella dry aged steak on the left and the fresh steak on the right. But now that we have both of our steaks ready all there's left to do is to season them and for that I started with a little bit of salt salt, followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder, nothing else. As always, I made sure to season both sides, including the edges. But now that we have both of the steaks ready, now all there's left to do is to grill them. I'm first going to be putting a beautiful sear on them and then cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook them, so let's do it! everybody here we have our beautiful steaks what do you think angel huh they look like beautiful steaks this time yes this time they look beautiful <laughs> sometimes sometimes he will open and he'll say we have our beautiful steaks and i'll look and i'll just think about it like nope. no that's not beautiful that's a me. terrible statement sometimes i agree with him especially when you have crazy footage just like this everybody you don't want to have that kind of steak because you don't look that good i remember the the spacex video <laughs> Like always, we gotta experiment, right? The only okay. way to see if something is actually good is to run the experiment. So we have two exper two steaks, and uh, we're gonna find out if they taste any difference. Where do I go? We go here first. You ready? We go here first, bro. All right, let's go. All right, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on. This is a Google steak, but it's a good Google steak. <laughs> if that does not put a smile on your face, Something is wrong with you. I'm telling you, something is very wrong with you. Because, mm, you're going for seconds, bro. Yes. <laughs> it's not just a Google steak, bro. This is a Google steak, but it's good. <laughs> this is amazing, everybody. A wonderful steak. Agree? You ready for the next one? What kind of face is that? Mm -hmm. It looks good. Oh, <laughs> Are you worried already? Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. <laughs> when it's a really good Google steak, mm. I get scared. <laughs> you know that? You want to know why? Why? I'm going to tell you why. Why? Because history is about to repeat itself sometimes? Because sometimes <laughs> your Google steak is, is really good. 
And then you find out it's an experiment. <laughs> and you did but, something to the Google steak. And then... But this one is different. Smell it. Mmm. Kind of smell. What kind of face is that, Angel? Don't make a face. <laughs> concerned. I'm concerned. Maybe I don't go for the full thing. Oh, man. That guy on the bike is going insane over there. Oh, you're not going for the whole thing? What do you mean? I'm concerned. It now. smells different, everybody. It smells different. It smells unique. It smells weird. <laughs> I'm excited to find out the taste. You ready, Angel? Now he's scared. All right, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that's different. Oh, I don't like that. Excuse me. Can I tell you something, Google? That oh. is, that is kind of funky. I, 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 did you swallow it? Yeah. You did. <laughs> I couldn't swallow it, everybody. That's kind of weird. How would you describe that? Can I still I, have it in my mouth. I want to wash it I, out with a good steak. Yes. Can I tell you something? Tell me. It tastes like a weird dry age. Like a weird dry age? Really? Like a dry age that like went terribly went, wrong? It's like a dry age that you dry aged for too long. Really? That's what it tastes like to me. Really? Yeah. Well, to me, it just tasted kind of a mix of some type of truffle. You know, if you ever eat truffle that has been on the refrigerator for a little bit too long. So this is what happens, right? You have truffle and then truffle is supposed to be extremely dry. So let's say you leave it in the refrigerator for too long, it gets kind of mushy. And when it gets mushy, it has a, a weird kind of taste. That is what it tastes like to me. And I've tried truffle like that before, and it's just like, it's repulsive to me. I don't enjoy it. But I, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? I wouldn't say enjoy it. It's like when you let it go for too long. Yeah. When you dry it. Too much. And let's say like you went and you were like, I'm going to try it a year. <laughs> a year bro that's something you, crazy? you do bro i don't know you're crazy like that <laughs> no it was like oh, a year whatever let's leave it in the refrigerator dry aging for a year that's what it tastes like to you yeah it tastes like that it tastes like it went too far yeah. are you ready to find out what this is my brother this one here remember we did the peanut butter dry age experiment oh no i <laughs> look at his face everybody i love it <laughs> this one here was dry age with nutella <laughs> <laughs> so you know it looked like a cake angel i'll tell you one thing your refrigerator smells wonderful especially if you like nutella you know what i mean as soon as you open that fridge it smells phenomenal everybody but at the same time definitely i don't <laughs> recommend this this was a terrible experiment. You put it in Nutella, bro. I put it in Nutella. It looked exactly like a cake, bro. Definitely do not try this <laughs> Nutella steak. It did not work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any more crazy ideas, just comment down below because Angel would love to try it.